David. Hi. Sounds like you lost your voice. Can I help you find whatever else you're looking for? Oh, my, um, my watch. You know, I, I, um, I thought I left it in the locker at the spa. Really? Yeah, but then I, like, called there and they said it wasn't there. I really loved that watch. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh, looky here. <laughs> right under your nose. Thanks. Yeah. You're usually so much more observant. I just lost my watch, David. Huh. Well, this wouldn't have anything to do with you trying to find a way out of our little agreement now, would it? I'm not sure I'd call blackmail an agreement. Mm, fair enough. But for the record, there are no loose ends. You can relax, David. I already agreed to your terms and I haven't changed my mind. I hope that's true. Even though I don't agree with you and your methods of getting what you want, if I didn't see some redeeming value in our marriage, I'd still be kicking and screaming. But then again, I realize that the only way I am kicking and screaming is because you saved my life. And despite the hell your friends and family have put me through, I do it all again in a heartbeat. But you know, I can't help but worry about the evidence you have. What if someone finds this fake proof that I brought down no, Eric's plane? You don't have to worry about that. Well, that's easy for you to say. But it would be my head on the chopping block if it came to light, or if the mechanic decided to talk. What if he wants to blackmail both of us? That's not going to happen. Well, you have confidence in him, but I don't even know his name. Wouldn't serve you anyway. He's not using it anymore. He changed his name? Yep, that's right. And he's comfortably residing in, well, let's just say another part of the country. Hmm. It's good to know. Yeah, it is. What do you say we get ready for our board meeting, huh? Sweetheart. Ryan. Hey. I've just checked with the desk. You requested an early release? Yeah, there's no reason to stick around. All my tests are, are looking good. But that doesn't mean you're completely healed. You had a brain aneurysm. Hey, the doctor last night said that, uh, Dr. Um... Oh, hey, I, I, okay. All right, you don't have to give me a look like that. I was never really great with names, okay? The doctor actually said that there'd be, like, some temporary memory loss, so... What else did he say? He said that I just need to take it easy. That's it. Well, I'm sure he meant in the hospital, not running around. Well, I didn't hear that part. Yeah, I think they call that selective listening. What are you doing? Uh, I think they call this standing up. So who wants to take this sick guy for the walk around the hospital? Hey, baby. Ciao, bella bambino. That is my little Italian version of... Good morning, handsome stud. Mm. Mm. What a way to start the day. This is your way to start your day. Fresh espresso from our new machine. Ooh. Extra strong. Wow. This is uh, really intense. Good, right? Right. I had one of those every single morning in Italy with a biscotti. Uh, it was perfect. But there was one thing missing. You. Mm. I missed you, too. <laughs> mm. oh, Wait, what? I want to show you something. I printed all of these this morning. Every single romantic place in Italy that I want to take you to. What? Well, I've just, I've never seen you get this excited about anything before. Well, you know, almost. <laughs> okay, what do we got? What is this one? Okay, this is me at the Palace Hotel in Venice. That much I know. You know, I think that's where I missed you the most, in Venice. It's just such an incredibly romantic place. Oh, and this is me. You. Yes. <laughs> St. Peter's in Rome. Mm, and this is me kissing you, mm. my beautiful wife. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Mm. I have missed you so much. I missed everything about you. Me too. 
but we don't have to worry about that anymore, cuz we're together now. So what do you want to do today? Franklin, besides that. Okay, I thought we could maybe take a picnic by the lake. Ooh, fabuloso, mi amore. Are you making up all these Italian words? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> or keep making them up because it's pretty hot. Mm. I know, you don't need my help. I also forget that you are mad at me. Huh. Join the club, it's really attracting a lot of new members these days. What'd you expect, Liza? I mean, Tad is part of the family and you really screwed him over big time. Yeah, I made a mistake. Uh, is that what you call putting the moves on his son? Amanda, I did not put the moves on Damon. Yeah, you're right. I know. You were proving a point. And you did that, huh? What I was doing was trying to protect my daughter. What about Tad? I mean, he was so excited about giving Damon yeah. a family. and That and he didn't bring him see to... who Damon really is. And you were going to show him by... Okay, would by you please just no, listen? No, I... you listen, okay? It's one thing to break someone's heart. I have been on both sides of that. But to break a part of a father and a son in the deal, too? How do you sleep at night? I'm glad you're back. I didn't come back to stay. I just promised Kathy I'd be here for a swim meet. Oh, 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 oh good. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, I do. Do you mind if we talk about what happened? I don't want to talk. I, all I have to say is Colby and I are out of here. I understand. I do. Um, I, I, I mean, I would, I would probably do the same thing, you know, if I were your age. OK, cool. You understand. Cool. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I'm just a little, you know, I'm naturally a little concerned that you'd be OK, that you, you've thought it through, you know, how you're going to Take care of yourself. What, you think I'm gonna starve to death or something? We'll figure it out, I'll get a job, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. I think it's my t-shirt you're holding. Thanks. Don't go. I have to. No, you don't. Why do you want me around here anyway? Aren't you afraid I'm gonna steal your girlfriend? <laughs> no. Well, that's why you were so pissed in New York, wasn't it? Me and Liza, the hey, whole... You know, well, the fact is, you said some pretty harsh things yourself in New York. I mean, comparing me to Paul, well, telling me I'm just as bad as your stepfather. You never believed me either, so what's the difference? <laughs> it's a big difference, Damon. I do believe you. No, you don't. Yeah. I do. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the way you used the pictures, I was, you know, it was a little low. I was wrong. I tried to control Liza like that. The fact is, I know that she was lying. Wait, what? I think that things between you and Liza went down exactly the way you said they did. <laughs> 